I'm going to give everybody a free master on uh, monster.io. Yes, we made t-shirts. We made t-shirts because we went to NAM. And here is the free code, NAM23. Uh, I'll show you how to use that in just a second. Actually, I'll show you how to use that right now, and then I'll tell you about everything. In case you're only here for the free master, this is how you do it. All right, pretty simple stuff. You're either going to log in or you're going to sign up. I assume a lot of you probably haven't tried the service yet. So you're going to put in your name, uh, then a username, email, password, blah, blah, blah. You're not a robot. Register, yada, yada. Once you register and log in, just make a new project. Drag in your song that you want to have a master for. You can put in your artist's name. Uh, then just put in your project name. And you just scroll down, hit create project. Once you hit create project, you'll see that it's uploading here. And then the mastering process is going to begin. All right, and then when your track is finished being mastered, you'll see it in the activity center here. You can just click it, it'll take you right to the song. You can preview it to make sure you like it here on the track page. And when you're ready, just click download. So obviously if you don't already have an account, uh, you can pick one of these if you want, but if you're just here for the free single, you wanna see if you like the service, click your $5 download right there. Enter your, your discount code here, NAM23, and hit apply. And then there you go, you got your discount and it will cost you zero bucks. So there you go, free master on us, enjoy. We decided to make this code because when we were at NAM, we were interacting with people, um, a lot of people who didn't know we existed and then some customers too who already use the product and really love it. And that was awesome to connect with them. But you know, one thing we kind of kept running into, everyone's gonna have questions about a product like this, right? Like it's sort of an inherently polarizing product for a variety of reasons, but like the skepticism that surrounds um, AI, I think is starting to go away, but you know, there's uh, still, uh, especially in like art, you know, like people just kind of hate it sometimes. So what we kept telling people was like, yeah, no, I hear you, but like, just, just try it. And <laughs> it's funny, dude, we had like this older mastering guy, I won't say who reputable, you know, come over and he clearly came over to pick a fight. And I like, I'm confrontational like i i kind of like live for this stuff but like he came over and it was like right, you know, tell me about this you know and i was like happy to do so and i think ultimately where we landed on that conversation was like you know he was going on about like what about new york style and what about like la style and all of this stuff it's like well yeah okay when you say like new york style what do you mean and you know, he was like, okay, well, I mean, like, you know, sometimes we'll add high end to a master to make it sound louder because of the way ear perceives, you know, certain frequencies and how we hear those frequencies first, but it's not actually louder um, from a technical standpoint. And I was like, yeah, totally. Like you're talking about like the Fletcher Munson curves and like, we're very aware of those. Um, and, you know, I was talking about LA style, like Dr. Dre, where we add more low end and all of that stuff. And so I tried to tell him, I was like, well, we've sort of accounted for all of that. We've got nine different mastering algorithms that people can use um, to do exactly that. You know, in our matrix, like if you go over to the right a little bit, you're going to see that you can make things brighter. If you go down, you can make things more dynamic. If you go up, you can go louder. If you go left, it's darker. And so like, while we can use different terminology, like New York style or LA style, <laughs> whatever it is, um, you know, that stuff is there. Fundamentally speaking, some people are just going to hate the product. Totally get it. But this is me just saying like, just on scale, on like going on the internet and just being like, just try it, just use the code and then just try it and let us know what you think. And we're always responding to feedback too, right? Like I've been an engineer for 20 years. I've got like an amazing team that works on this. And like, we don't want to make something that people hate or don't like. So in, in our customer retention, just from like a, a metrics standpoint is super good. Like once people take the plunge, they start mastering stuff with us. They start using the workflow tools. All of that. So free song, blah, blah, blah. Enjoy. Another way to check it out if you're curious, just go check out um, In Spirit on Spotify or wherever. Their newest single, Further, uh, the master that you're going to hear on this literally is uh, master.io. So uh, if you like the way that sounds, I love the way that sounds, then right there, you know, that's an easy way to check it out. Maybe that will convince you, then you upload something. But either way, that's that. We made t shirts. Hold on. And. They have Darth Vader on them. Check it out. And it's funny, like when we made these shirts, so <laughs> Joe, our CTO designed the shirt. If there's two things I'm kind of not, I'm like not a Star Wars person, no offense. And I'm like not a purple person, but uh, in the spirit of going with the flow and it kind of fits our color scheme, we made purple shirts. I'll admit, was I skeptical? A little bit. However, I'm a terrible merch designer. I would have done black print 
on black, you know, which I've done before, but I couldn't believe it. Like these shirts were such a hit. Someone stole, for, <laughs> the funny thing is they're like free. You know, all we would ask for is like an email or just talk to us for a second or whatever. There was a dude who was like, creeping around and i was just talking to uh you know i don't know if it's a customer but someone at nam and um joe our cto was talking to like someone else too and as we're like talking this was we had like a display one that was like laying on the table <laughs> and he rips the display one off the table and runs and it was <laughs> we were like laughing because it was like these are free shirts like you could have just been like Hey, tell me about your product. Hey, oh yeah, here's my email. Thanks for the shirt. Bye. It was like this big like escapade where we were like, cool, dude. So we met so many people. I ran into Sampura who produced the story so far, who I've known and been in contact with for like a decade, but somehow it was the first time we met. We met the Crystal Method, which was a really funny story because I didn't recognize him. And he came over and we were talking about the process and stuff and he thought it was cool. And I was like, so what type of music do you do? And he was like, he's like, oh, I like do like DJ stuff or whatever. And then eventually I was like, wait a minute. He's like, yeah, I'm in the crystal method. And I was like, sick. And yeah, I was like, can we grab a picture with you? And he was like, yeah, you always want to point up at the light when you take a picture. I didn't question it. So he did it. And he was right. The picture came out pretty good. He said, I take a lot of these. I know what I'm doing. And he wasn't wrong. Our buddy Bobby came with us and someone inexplicably had a banana, inflatable banana and was wearing like a banana suit of sorts. <laughs> we're having breakfast, I think at Denny's. <laughs> he walked in and all of these kids were just like, banana man. <laughs> it was amazing. Banana man. <laughs> Anyway, I'm clearly rambling. I hope you take me up on this offer. Uh, we'll let it run for like a week, so I might remind you later. And other than that, uh, have a great day and happy uh, AI cyborg mastering.